Okay, hi. So, uh, we will do, we will discuss about 6.2, Development of Pollen Green and Embryo Set. Okay, ready? Right, learning standard. Okay, <clears throat> you are able to describe the formation of pollen green in anthem. Okay, so sepatutnya, uh, you dah Baca sikit tentang structure of the flowering plant. Lepas tu, 6.2, kita tengok kepada how the formation of pollen green uh, develop. Okay, the pollen green tu macam mana dia jadi pollen green, this one. Okay, so ready? Baik, kita tengok balik formation of the pollen green. Saya nak awak lukis yang gambar ni. Okay, I want you to draw. Uh, lukislah dalam uh, 8 baris macam tu ok, so after you draw you label lukis dalam buku rampayan eh ok, so this ok, all this structure is stamen ok, and under stamen dia sebenarnya ada dua kan ok, which is enter and filament so enter will produce the pollen green which is carry the male gamet and filament this one, okay, it will support the anther. That's it. Itu je. So, ingat, stamen ada anther and filament. Anther produce pollen green, which is pollen green carry the male gamet and filament to support the anther. That's it. Okay, boleh ingat dua ni? Alright, seterusnya. Okay, katakanlah, let's like say, we go detail into the structure of enter. So, we take this enter, we zoom in, so, and then we cut it. We do the cross section. So, you are going to see in the enter, there is four pollen sac. Ada empat bulatan ni, these are the four pollen sac. Okay, and then, kita besarkan dia. Okay. So, kita besarkan dia. Kita akan dapat lihat. Okay, this one. Katakanlah, this is the gambar yang betul lah. Okay, pollen sac. And then, inside the pollen sac, yang warna merah tu, these are pollen greens. Okay. And then, yang warna hijau, the green color outside macam butterfly ni, this is the tepetum. Okay, which is provide nutrient for the pollen green. Boleh? Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So, the matured pollen sac, this one, it will split. Okay. When matured. To what? To release the pollen green. So, dia akan pecah. So, pollen green yang dalam tadi tu, it will be released out. Okay, this one belum matured. So, one is matured. This pollen sac, okay, the pollen sac ni dia akan pecah. Okay, it will split open so that the pollen green can be released out. So, how the pollen green look? Okay, this is how the pollen green, uh, pollen, green pula, pollen greens look like. Boleh? Uh, tengok, dia macam tajam sikit, ada spike up sikit. Okay, dia, dia bukannya smooth structure. The structure, the surface structure is not smooth. Untuk apa? Supaya it can grip when it land on the stigma. Kita akan tengok. So, boleh faham eh? Sekarang kita pergi kepada detail on the formation of the pollen grain. Yang ini, you can remember the form for syllabus which is mitosis and meiosis. Okay, this is the application lah. Alright, this is the matured flower. Okay, tadi you dah lukis kan? Sekarang ni sambung daripada lukisan tu sikit. Okay, so this matured flower, ah, uh, you lukis pula. Okay, we focus on the enter. So, lukis sikit enter. Dah? Okay. And then, selepas tu, we zoom in, we focus on the pollen sac. So, we know that each enter has four pollen sac. One, two, three, four. Boleh nampak? Empat bulat warna 
uh, turquoise color. Okay, and then a any look is now. Okay, so let's say we zoom in, we go detail to the pollen sac. Kita ambil sedikit kita pergi ke dalam dia in the pollen sac. Okay. Each pollen sac contain a large number of pollen mother cell. So, yang bulat-bulat ni ialah pollen mother cell. So, lukis yang ni. Okay. Pollen mother cell ni, awak lukis. Sekejap saya. Okay, awak lukis. Awak cuba tengok. Bila awak lukis pollen mother cell ni, dia ada berapa nucleus? Satu saja. This one. Okay. So, tulis dua N. Kenapa kena tulis 2N? Because this will, ex, uh, this will help you to understand the formation of mitosis meiosis letter. Okay, so this pollen mother cell, okay, what will happen? Ah, each of the pollen mother cell will undergo meiosis. So meiosis, it will become how many cell? Four, okay, four daughter cell and each of the daughter cell will be haploid that's why it's 2n here and then you write down here n okay so this is meiosis so tengok sini nombor tiga each pollen mother cell undergo meiosis to form four haploid micro spore so empat ini okay once the pollen mother cell already undergo meiosis the name changed. It become microspore. Dia kecil kan? So, microspore ada berapa? Four microspore. And each of the microspore is haploid. Boleh? Okay, meiosis ha? Okay, lukis. Jangan tengok je. Lukis, lukis, lukis. Okay, setelah itu, what next? Tadang! Ha, apa benda ni? Alright. Each, okay, let's say kita ambil satu. Each microspore, dia akan jadi apa? Awak tengok. Each microspore ni will become pollen grain. Satu microspore ni akan jadi pollen grain melalui what process? Okay, which is microspore ni ada satu nucleus. So, the nucleus of microspore undergo mitosis. So, kalau mitosis dia jadi berapa? So, dia akan jadi dua. So, it will become two, my, uh, two nucleus. Okay? So, these two nucleus cell kita panggil sebagai one of it is a tube cell and one of it is generative cell. Okay, you tengok number five. The nucleus of each microspore then undergo mitosis to produce the tube cell and generative cell. Boleh? Okay, lukis eh. So, kalau soalan essay untuk yang ini, dia boleh tanya and then dia boleh bagi lebih kurang 8 markah. Dia tanya, explain the formation of pollen grain in enter. So, you cerita dulu dalam enter ada apa. Ada pollen sac. Berapa pollen sac? Empat. And then each of the pollen sac contain what? Contain large number of pollen mother cell. Which is 2N. Then this pollen mother cell 2N undergo undergo what? Meiosis. Produce what? Ah, Kalau meiosis, 4 microspore haploid. Each of the microspore haploid ini will become pollen grain which is the nucleus for the microspore will undergo mitosis to produce tube cell and generative cell. Ingat eh? Bukan cell yang undergo mitosis. Nucleus. Okay, the nucleus. Boleh? Okay. So, lukis. Dalam buku rampayan, Dia punya flow sini. Okay. Kalau you rajin, you bolehlah tambah sikit yang ini. Supaya bila kita sanya you pasal es, dalam esi, you tahu macam mana nak jawab. Boleh? Okay. Seterusnya, kita akan pergi kepada next learning standard. 
which is the formation of embryo sac. Okay. Kalau tadi, pollen grain tu ialah male gamet. Sekarang ni, embryo sac ni adalah female gamet. Okay. So, new page. New page. Tadi, satu page tadi tentang pollen grain formation. Sekarang ni, buku rampayan view buka new page. Kita pergi kepada formation of embryo sac. Lukis juga gambar yang ini. Ha, kat tepi sikit. Okay. So, structure that involve for the embryo sac ialah kapal. So, all this structure keseluruhan, all this is known as kapal. So, kapal ni consists of what? Alright, consists of stigma. Okay, which is stigma will receive the pollen grain. And then, this one is style. Okay, which is to support the stigma. Which is, this is ovary yang luar. Okay, inside the ovary contain ovule. And the ovule, ha, kita akan go detail to this part, will produce ovum. Boleh? So, look at and label. Okay, done? Alright. Yeah. Okay. Formation of embryo sac ni occur at where? It occur in the ovary, which is in the ovule. So, tadi dah lukis kan? Ah, sambung saja daripada lukisan tadi tu, dilukis yang ni. Okay, so <coughs> Alright This is the ovule Kita besarkan dia Okay, ovule Alright, so the ovule Okay Kita tengok dulu structure for the ovule Okay, lukis eh, lukis macam ni Ada, ada apa uh, This part Bulatan, and then dekat sini Dia mesti ada uh, opening, right? This one ada ada satu bulatan besar, satu bulatan kecil. You draw like this. Okay. So what structure is this? This is the funicle. And what structure for this opening? This is micro part. And then this is yang yeah, warna yellow ni nucleus. Nuke, 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 uh, okay, nucleus. Alright, and yang warna orange coklat ni, this is the embryo sac. Dalam dia ada embryo sac mother cell. Dah. Okay. Lukis. Level. And half out. Okay. So, kita tengok macam mana sebenarnya in the real picture. So, this is the real picture lah. Okay. This is the ovary. Dalam ovary ada banyak ovule. So, this is the ovule, the ovule, the ovule, the ovule. Okay. So, baik. Lukis yang ini juga. Sebab yang ini kita akan go detail for the formation of the embryo site. Tadi structure dulu. Okay. Mungkin boleh buat yang baru dekat next page ataupun uh, bawah kan. Alright, matched flower dalam dia ada ovule and each of the volume, each of the ovule, okay, dia ada embryo mother cell. Okay, this part, semua ovule ni kita panggil sebagai embryo mother cell. Yang ni, yang ni, yang ni, yang ni, yang ni, yang ni, yang tengah ni. Bukan semua part, yang ni. So, dia ialah berapa? 2N. Okay, alright. And, what will happen? Okay. This embryo mother cell akan undergo, it will undergo meiosis. So, dia akan undergo meiosis to become 4 megaspore. So, nampak? 
Dia jadi meiosis, tiba-tiba jadi satu, dua, tiga, empat. Okay? So, yang form megaspore tu dia akan susun lah. Dia akan develop and then dia akan susun dekat sini. Okay, the diploid embryocyte mother cell divide by meiosis to form four haploid megaspore. Ingat? Ini ialah megaspore. Kalau ovule, ovule, female, dia ialah mega. Kalau pollen grain tadi ialah, apa, tengok balik, micro, bukan mega. Okay. And this three, okay, the three of megaspore ni will degenerate. Only one will develop, continue to develop. Boleh? So, kenapa dia nak undergo meiosis? Sebab dia nak jadikan from diploid to become haploid. Tiga ni tak guna lah. So, that's why it will degenerate. So, only one will continue to develop. So, what will happen next? Ah, dia, It will undergo mitosis three times. So, satu undergo mitosis jadi dua. Two Undergo mitosis jadi berapa? Jadi empat. Four undergo mitosis for the third time become eight. So it will have eight nuclei within the cytoplasm. Undergo mitosis three times. Boleh? Okay. So after it has uh, eight Nuclei, which is each of it ialah haploid sebab meiosis kat sini kan. So, dia buat apa? Dia akan susun. Okay, dia akan susun jadi macam ni. Alright. The embryocyte will, okay, rearrange and then it will become, okay, three. Tiga dekat atas ni kita panggil sebagai, okay, antipodal cell. Okay, tiga ni. Three will be located on top, become antipodal cell. Two nuclei, kita panggil sebagai two polar nuclei. And then, yang dekat bawah lagi tiga ni, okay. Yang tengah-tengah ni, ialah egg cell. And kiri dan kanan left, and right the side of the 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 side of the egg cell adalah synergy cell so this synergy cell will provide nutrient to the egg cell so this egg cell will fertilize with the male gamete boleh so this is the formation of embryo sac in ovule Proses lebih kurang sama dengan formation for pollen grain. Boleh ingat? Okay. So, yang ini mungkin 10 markah for essay. Cuba tengok balik. Kita pergi for the whole uh, lagi sekali. Ovule. Okay, dalam ovule ada there is a embryo sac mother cell 2N. So, this embryo sac mother cell 2N undergo meiosis. So, it will become for megaspore haploid. But three will degenerate, only one survive. So this one, the megaspore, will undergo mitosis how many times? How many times? Three times. So three times, okay, it, it will produce eight nuclei. And these eight nuclei will be rearranged. Three of it will be located uh, on top of the uh, embryocyte become antipodal cell in the middle become two polar nuclei and then one of it will become egg cell and beside the egg cell there will become two synergy cell. So egg cell ni mesti berada nearest to the micro pile. Boleh? Okay. Selesai. Habis. So this is the real picture of the Embryo sac. Nampak tak? Ah, kat sini ada. Kat sini ada. Okay. This is the embryo sac. Boleh? So, siap? 
habis 6.2. Jangan lupa siapkan buku rampaian nanti hantar. Okey.